Yo, what's up, Laz? Hey, man. Hello, hello. How's it going, man? Hello, hello. Uh, so I kind of already scouted you. Uh, I, I was watching your stream a yeah, little I bit. Yeah, I that. <laughs> uh, so, okay, listen, man. Why don't you go ahead and share the game through Discord, and then I can go ahead and watch your stream. So you're 1600, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. That's the peak. <laughs> 1600 peak, okay. And right now? No, I, I think I, I'm on the peak now, so it's like Ooh. 16... 41 maybe oh you're living your, like that you're living your best life right now okay that's good yeah so just show me the the stats on the accounts all right yeah okay. not a lot of games wait tell me a bit a bit about yourself like uh, have you how long have you been uh, playing it, it's hard to say like i started to play like uh maybe one and a half year ago uh, but didn't really, really play much at the first first i only played team games like uh, as you can see it's like uh, i don't know 1600 games maybe yeah but uh, it wasn't uh, it, it just for the fun you know yeah, yeah. Uh, and then i i realized that maybe i can i can work with this so i tried the 1v1s and uh, then i yeah i got how should i say this i not i don't want to be like uh, yeah i'm super good at stuff <laughs> like that but i i saw a potential in like i got 1600 like with a couple of games so so have you been stuck at 1600 for a while or what's going on uh, no not really i started to play more consistently when i uh, started to stream like a month ago maybe okay uh, but before that i was just playing like a one game at in a week basically okay do you mind if i ask how old you are 21. you're 21 you you have you have really good potential to get uh to get high level you have very little games you I, I saw your stream, you have good fundamentals, and you're still young, which is, it's an advantage. How many games a week do you play? Well, since I'm streaming, I uh, mostly like uh, 20, 20 games, maybe in a week, but uh, only when I'm stream. I, I'm not usually playing when oh. I'm not streaming. Awesome, okay. I'm already letting people know to go follow you. Guys, go check out Laz on uh, on Twitch, <laughs> Laz AOE. Thank you, thank you. Uh, all good, man. It's, uh, I, I, like, I like what you're doing, and let's see what you have. So. Yeah, you can go in. You play random sieve or do you pick sieve? Do whatever uh, I you want. I prefer random, but uh, I I usually pick because everyone is like tryharding, and uh, if I get a worse sieve matchup, I, I just uh, tilt. So <laughs> okay, yeah. But yeah, we can go around. We can go random. It, it's really as you wish. If you want to pick and go ahead, no problem for me. Italians, my way. Yeah. This is you're playing as a subscriber of mine, by the way. Perfect. So I'm just gonna let you do your starts here, and I'll talk it a little bit later. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got Italians, Malay, right off the bat. It's a pretty even matchup, actually. We're both going to be probably playing mainly archer units, but Malay have yep. strong elephants, and we have strong knights, actually. We have, like, bloodlines, fully upgraded cavaliers, so we have the chance to play knights if you want to. As you scout your map, think of what strategy you want to do. You, you decide, and I'll just help you make sure you get that done properly. Mm, uh... I think I want to open with scouts, because okay. uh, you know melee. Uh, it's uh, not usually opening with scouts. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really have like a good uh, options to it. I mean, I just what that's what I think. So, <laughs> ah, and also I because like of I'm um, the mobility. Yeah. That's why I want to open with scouts. Okay, I like that. Yeah, mobility is great. Um, it lets you you know see what's going on. Lets you get the first punch. So I I, I love it. So scout opening is very good here. Italians do it well because you save 75 food from Dark Age. It's not a good lumber camp. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay, but you're taking the wood correctly, taking the inside tree, which is nice. Looks like your map is open, so I'll tell you a quick trick. I don't know if you know, but if you have an open map, right now how the map script works is your opponent will also have an open map. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that means that... So th yeah. yeah, and uh, that's good for scouts too. Yeah, exactly. And and that just means that feel free to make a little bit more units in early game because you know that you will get value with them. All right. I 
I usually push one gear. Oh, yeah, no problem. Just uh, to speed up my economy. I don't mind. I like to make the house near the middle, that's perfect. I mean, your start has been perfect so far, to be honest. Where is this go deer going? Do you accept the opponent now? Yep. Okay. So just in general, uh, I'll let you focus for the boar, but just listen here. Just in general, you didn't really scout the edges of your map, so I'm not really sure how you can even wall it. It's not too bad right now. Yeah, nice. It's not too bad right now because like the map is pretty open anyways, but just in general, we probably want to do one more loop around our base. Hmm? Yeah, so we can, right. yeah, we can scout now our opponent, and then maybe if you have time, we can go back later, but no problem. So now you find your opponent, do a loop around his base. To find everything he's got. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Almost, yeah. almost. Yeah, just around, perfect. Nice. Let's do it like so. Mm -hmm. Fast up time. Yeah, I like that. Definitely the Italians, you have the deer, it's perfect. Now I should go back, scout my base a bit better. Oh uh, yeah, or... let's, let's do that. Yeah, we can do that. All right. We don't really know exactly what he's going for, but because we're going to go scouts anyways, we don't really care what he's going to go for. We can figure it out later in early feudal. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I'm a bit shaky. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, actually, this is my first game of the week so <laughs> okay pa pause real quick Weapons. pause uh yep. not for the nervousness but go to your settings go options uh so yeah options um let me see so you see enable bloom take that off uh to the where? right yeah enable bloom it's yep. yeah that one off. just yeah off um and the rest is good yeah i don't usually do this but Trust me. Trust me, it's good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Start the game already! Yes. Perfect. Yes, yeah, so just do one more loop around your base. Yeah, perfect. I was told that watching this channel will turn me into a gamer. Yep, you're right. You will now have no more friends That's outside. Stuff, no real life, but you'll be good at games. It's okay. He's Malay, so he's going to be like at 21 vills or something right now. But he's not going to really have that much going for him, I don't think. Yep. Perfect. And now I should like go forward yep. just to see what he's doing. Exactly, yeah. So like now by scouting that you see you saw like a woodland on the bottom actually so it's gonna help yeah up yeah a little that's bit. good yeah, yeah. yeah and like had you done that in dark age you wouldn't waste more time so we'll work on that for the next game if you have that all right scouts did we get whatever uh, i also sh always pick this uh, i don't know the host call yeah it's good yeah but it's, know know it's good or what's good right. it's good yeah just did you get double bit axe i'm not sure yeah okay good yeah that's perfect okay let's focus up here for the scouts He's stable, also being stable. So spears. Yeah, one, one, two spears at home. You can also wall in the woodland on top because it's like really far. Yeah, 
And we use the scouts to attack. Yeah, we just fight back, just fight back, just fight back with the bills. Yep. Okay. No problem. Did I fight this? Uh, no, he definitely just ran away. It's okay, if we lose one villain, no problem. We just have to kill his scouts or like do damage, which is good. That mic is a mess. Yeah, we just need more, more farms early. We don't want to float any wood. So because the map is open, you can feel free to make like more spears, more scouts. Yeah, and we can just look now to attack with our scouts as well. Yep. Building so much wood. KG, thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good stream, man. Uh, should I switch to archers? That's what I usually do now. Um, yeah, if you want to, no problem. It's, it's a good strategy, yeah. Nice, That's good. You see how much value your spears got? Because it, because it's open, we made a few extra, and now they're really helping to defend. What I also recommend now is you also pick up Town Watch. You're going to get house, so you're going to need Town Watch anyways. Yep. Yep. And it just helps when you wait, if you're not if you're not walled, you get town watch every time, it's a rule. Mm -hmm. Alright. More houses then? Yep. And if you want to switch to archers, I recommend two ranges, because like since it's a little late switch, mm -hmm. scouts into archers usually plays with two ranges. It's a really aggressive build. Yeah, your spears are getting insane value, very good. So now like as soon as you get the archers out. You wait for like a couple, of course, and then you can send them forward and look to break his base mm -hmm. with scouts and archers. Yep. No, 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 not to wood. Send to gold so you have seven. We want seven on gold for right. two ranges. Yeah, yeah. You you don't want a lot of wood for this build. You just need enough wood to get like, to sustain production. So now he's fully walled, probably. Um, he's got spears, but as soon as you get the archers out, you can break his like you can break a house <clears throat> and send the archers forward here. We don't know that he has anything right now, so if we don't see anything, we're not scared of anything. We have town watch at home and we have spears, so we can react. Just make sure we're constantly doing archers. Uh, sorry, not arch uh, archers and houses as well. Yeah. There we go, so now the archers will come. Break his house with the scouts, it's much better. It's harder to wall behind. And you break it faster because it has negative armor. All right, only seven on wood. So while you're attacking, once you have as good economy as you can behind it. Uh, what should I do now? Uh, sorry. Well, I mean, try to get the castle age behind it, but your economy is very yep. imbalanced. 17 on gold, not yep. looking too Market. good. Market is nice, yeah. You could also make a few more farms as well. Keep trying to break in. You're doing a lot of damage. Hitting houses is the best thing with the scout. Always hit a house. Not, not market, house, yeah. Nice. 
You can patrol them towards the building. They're going to stack as much as you want. Patrol them towards it. Yeah, exactly. Then they stack. Alright, since you have a lot of gold, get two lumber ca uh, mining camps. Now we see he's out archers as well. Yeah, it's wood. Perfect. He's up to castle age. We can still continue pressure, pressuring because he doesn't have any army yet. Nice. Amazing. Let's go, man. All right, we'll get archer armor, gold mining upgrade. These are things that you always get on the way up to castle age, unless you have a good reason not to. Okay, so now I'm worried maybe we're going to counterattack. So we'll mass archers, we'll keep them at home with the reinforcements. Yep. And we'll keep attacking with this army. Because we haven't seen so anything fun. for a while. No, no, we can hit a house. Yeah. So click his archer. Right there, when he shows you an archer, we need to click it to see what he has, right? Ah, yep. knights. A few spears and archers can defend easily. Hello. Hello, Sparky. Thanks for eight months, bro. Really appreciate it. What's up? What's up? So all this quick calling was completely unnecessary. And because yep. you were called, you, walk, you lost all your <laughs> uh, army. It's like to be too fancy. Yeah, yeah. And, and then because you were trying to do that, you lost all your army at his base. Yeah. And now you have to delete it. So basically, never do walls like this. Just defend with army. All right. Yeah. If you want to quick wall a little, you can quick wall a little, but not this much. This is way too much. Okay. It hurts you more than anything. Crossbow Bodkin. And to be honest with our army, like we can group our army and attack, but just make sure the reinforcements are always at home to defend. And we can look to get some town centers now, especially in areas where we're vulnerable to defend our map a bit more. On wood would be perfect. Like here. Yep. Well, and definitely just fix your well. idols, yeah, after you get raided. No, uh, maybe Botkin first. No? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Would be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this quick calling was. Yeah, that that was really really bad. Perfect. All right, so we have the market, so we can use it to help balance our economy. Ideally, we wouldn't have this much this much wood, but since we uh, this much gold, but since we have it, we'll look to balance with the market. Uh, I'm thinking about the seed shop not right now. Uh, why? You have, the know. you have the same amount of crossbows. I don't think you need it. I think I'd rather see a third TC because a TC will help protect your base as well. And All you right. can just fight him here, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Chase him, chase him. Delete your wall and chase him. You can't. It's illegal if you let him get away. You can break the other wall and try to chase that guy. There you go. If you had chased him right away, you would kill all of those, by the way. Mm. And then with your reinforcements, you can keep them at home now. So now with this army, you ch try to kill that army and then go attack. There we go. I can't believe you're going to let him get away with five crossbows there. Yeah, it's so bad. Yeah, yeah, so you look to punish mistakes like that. Exactly. Yep. Oh, that's good. Now... With, with the reinforcements, keep them at home. This army, we go attack. Why Why do we attack now? Because we just killed this army. Yeah. But we want because we're open at home, it's a hard game. We're going to keep army at home. All right, continue developing. Three TCs, more bills, army, use the market to balance. And now, what you can do is look to go for the siege workshop, go for the monastery eventually. But for now, we need a few more farms to be able to sustain yep. the production. Yeah. That's just how booming and development works. Okay. 
if there's nothing to do, don't show yourself. Don't show yourself. Go back. There's nothing to do here. Look, look somewhere else. Look around his map. Does he have another woodline he's taking? Remember, if he sees you, he can punish you like you punish him. If he doesn't see you, he can't really. He doesn't know where you are. He's got university. Ah, we'll take that monk. But now he's got university, so he might have ballistics. So maybe we need to do that ourselves. All right. Still got so much wood. Could I break yeah, this? Yeah, break if you want. Okay. You can break and then decide if you want to go in or not, you know? Oh. Man, I keep sending views to God, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to yeah. work on that eco a little bit. Skirms. Click, click skirms. We don't know the upgrades. Okay, plus one armor, but he has he has a few, so we'll just back up. All right, let's keep making uh you know keep making farms, keep developing. I don't think he has ballistics, but I'm not sure. And right now, one village should be always making houses constantly. Mm. So now you can group up your army or look to defend. Oh no. Yeah, it's okay. We have reinforcements, right? So first step, bring yep. the reinforcements. Second step, if you get close to your village, run them back. No quick walling. Keeping it simple. Yeah, it's a quick question before they're like, gonna lose this bills now, which is crazy. Yeah. And that's how we defend. No quick walls, nothing fancy. Okay, now to counter skirms, we can go for a seed shop. Or we can also go for knights if you want. Knights are fine as well. Whatever uh, you want. Two knights. Yeah. Plus one, second stable, and that's perfect. Now we look to punish this army. He's 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 he attacked us. Let's try to punish Let's that. Let's go army. here and try yeah. to try to trap him. Just patrol. Yeah, you can patrol here. When you have ballistics, you can just patrol and it lets you do other things. Nice. Okay, so now we have knights. We have crossbows. It's gonna be hard to sustain knights because we don't we don't have a, a lot of farms. Yep. Yeah, we still need more farms. But a good strategy right now is like yeah, you, you know, you have a lot of castage army, you can you're mining stone, so you can win a fight and then go for a forward castle. Was lucky. Nah, I missed me. Yeah, that's good. Luckily, the opponent's not missing. Yo, you can go back there. You don't have enough. Yeah, you can have to mass more knights. Yeah, and just keep, yeah, keep, keep booming. Your your army composition is good. He's on skirms. You 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 have a good comp here. You just gotta mass a few knights, pretty much. Alright, now that we, that we have the knights, we can easily go ahead and look to put pressure. Alright, we have to try to win that fight. Snipe the knights. Yeah. Okay, reinforce everything here. Don't just because you're fighting doesn't mean you have to stop making arm, army and villas, eh? 
Always continue making yep. yeah, as much as you can. We can get our own castle now. As a forward, army. maybe? Yeah, a lot of those, yeah. Perfect. Here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah continue producing. You still have only 80 bills, so like, we can continue making more bills. fighting him so now he's up the imp but we're just gonna continue making units in castle all right so now they get the castle up now you can think of trying to get the imp but it's good to keep a lot of pressure on right now and just to not let him push back even though he's got faster imp, yep. he's got no army right so keep the pressure on. You can even run to his base a little bit here. Don't don't waste army, but like definitely look to like trade as much as possible if it's good. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, behind it we can use the market even sell some stone, try to get the imperial age. Yeah. And the big thing here is just to continue making our villagers. TG Killer, thanks for the prime sub. Corvus Cry, thanks for the gifted sub. You guys are legends, thank you so much. Respect, respect. Ah, so that tells us he has a castle, no? Alright, so I don't know what you think, but I think what we can do is we can give up the castle. So we can just continue taking good trades, and then if yep. our castle dies, we can just back up. But right now, focus on getting a really big economy. Your composition is great. You can go maybe, you know, Arbless plus Light Cav. That could be a great, great composition. Arbless SR eventually. Yeah, we'll back up there. So what we do is we can just go back with our army. We can repair the castle to buy time. And we just wait till he moves out of his base. In the meantime, we continue to make sure we have a good economy. Get upgrades, work towards your composition. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can back up those Arba. And you can already start making the light cap if you want to counter the Skirm and, and Monk. More stables is good too. Stop my control groups. Nice. Alright, we can just back up now. He wants to go for his castle. So what we can do is camp that hill. And if he can take the fight, we'll take it. If he ever brings too much, we can just give it to him. Yep. Alright, we definitely want Light Cav on the field now, because he's got a lot of skirms. So definitely more Light Cav. Yeah, we don't need Hussar right away, we just need Light Cav on the field.
Perfect. So now it just you have the right composition. You can just work to work your way towards two hundred pop. More bills, more arbalas, more light cap, and just work your way towards that two hundred pop area, and you should be good to go. Yeah, only scrums. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your comp is much better in the in late game, one hundred percent. Need more stables. Cavalier, maybe. Why? Why? Well, I have resources. <laughs> yeah, no, we have one gold unit, the Arbalest, one trash unit, the Hussar, and then get a siege unit. It's perfect. The comp is perfect. Stay on Hussar. Get the Hussar upgrade, if anything. Yep. Yeah, because if you get Cavalier, you're going to make 10 Cavalier, and then you're going to run out of gold. If you make Hussar, you make 100 Hussar, and you get a lot of value. So you siege can. Drum. Uh, well, with Talons, it would be hard to get Sea Drum, but what we can do is get like, yeah. maybe, maybe Bomber Cannons, could be good. Oh. Right. Alright, we'll wait for our upgrades, getting plus 4 and Hussar, more production buildings, get to 200 pop, those are your objectives. And you can look to start expanding on top as well with like your, 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 your economy and stuff. Yeah, so we, we don't want to be right clicking, we just patrol the Arbalest and, and then use the Hissar behind it as well. Yeah. If you ever need to make Skirm as well, that's a good unit to mix. If you need. But if anything, more ranges and more stables will be need. You have only two ranges, so. Nice. There you go. Watch your cannon here. Oh, we're missing thumb ring too. Oh god, indeed. Alright, so what you can do now is Literally just do exactly what you're doing, just more of it. More production buildings. Yep. Add some farms whenever you have the chance. Perfect. He got that hill, so we have to remass elsewhere. You can mix in skirms if you want to as well. He's not a good mix of units, but... You have a good economy, you just continue massing behind and we can look to push back later. You should mass near your town center so you can defend a little bit more. Yeah, 
You can get a castle in the back of your base now, which would be nice to just re -def like defend, hold. Right now, you're just trying to survive. If you can survive, we can we can actually push back with Hisar. Yeah, the main objective here is to get back to, like your population and get a big army, and then we can start fighting again. Skirm Hisar. Bomber cannon. Or trebuchets, we could probably get some trebs. If you ever want to raid him with Hisar, you can send 20 Hisars and go around the other side. But you should just spam his stars. You're not, you're not producing enough, and we haven't yet gotten to 200 pop. Like we really want 200 pop here. Make more houses, we're still never at 200 pop. Yeah. <laughs> you, you did a really good job to hold here. Now, we have a lot of resources. We can send Hussar to raid. Send Hussar to raid, make the game messy for him, and then we can remass a lot of Hussar at home. Take the time now, add more stables, prepare like, you can get a few more stables. Prepare a really nice late game. And you're only missing Blast Furnace? Yeah, exactly. And everything else you have. So your, your, your setup is actually perfect. You should still win this late game. We're at 200 pop finally. So now we're going to start taking good fights. Yeah, nice. So now next step when you get to 200 pop is to make sure you have zero aisles. Need more gold. Like yeah, there sure. might be gold up top. You can, there's a lot of area. Yeah. Outpost. Perfect. Man, hotkeys. Stone on the bottom, we never used. Oh, now he's got two handed swords. Uh, so now we ideally want to get back to the halves. Uh, it's not halves to Arbalest. Yeah, so try to make a few more Arbalest now to mix in for the swordsman, and then his star should win. Like, Arbalest to star is still a better comp than that. And with your tribes, you can look to clear out his next castles. Perfect. Squirrelite's coming back. The raids are probably doing a good amount of damage here. You are housed, unfortunately. Every game. <laughs>
look how much easier the game gets when you're at 200 pop. Like, you literally didn't win any fight. You got to 200 pop, you started winning fights. Yeah, 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 indeed. Because you just get an extra 30 units. It's, it's just so huge. So now, we don't want to waste time just hitting production buildings. You can let the traps kill those. Definitely try to find raids with the Hussar. The bottom side of the map, by the way, you never went there one time. There's, like, so much gold there. Just run Hussars through castles, it doesn't matter. And get, like, get to places where you think your opponent might be. And if you want more stables, there's never enough There's never enough stables, so you can continue making stables. You, yeah, you're doing a good job of keeping your ranginess with your traps, and then the Hussar can always raid. There we go. So nice. You see how you go to the bottom? He has like 30 bills. You kill them all. It's insane. Yeah. If he never went there, he gets to get away with these farms for free. Did I delete some views now? Or... If you want to, yeah. Yep. Never too many, just a few at a time, yeah, exactly. Never delete like 40 views one shot, just like, you know, 5, 10, get, get a bit yeah. more army, then, then delete more later, yeah. 5, please. Yeah, but there's basically no chance to lose right now. Be good. Yeah, the reinforcements can kill those. Beautiful. GG. Nice. GG. 
pretty crazy game. An hour and nine minutes. Yeah. What do you, what do you think about it? You tell me first, and I'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, well, the thing is like my army control. I think was the big biggest mistake what I made. I didn't control them good. Okay. Uh, at, at what point in in Castleage or in Castleage? Yeah, when uh, I lost the fight here. Okay. But uh, also when he took the hill. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And also it it's won't like let me sub to his I'm, channel, you, you can so that, you can discount him maybe. Like Eleven. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. The nerves. Yeah. Because, yeah, the nerves. What do you think was your biggest mistake this game overall? Not, like, was it, like, army? Was it aggressiveness? Was it army comp? Expansion? Economy? What was it? Well, it's maybe a bad thing, a stupid thing to say, but I think what killed me is my speed. You're playing too fast or playing too slow? Yeah, I think. Uh, what, what, can I, what I can handle. Yeah, I, I think it might help you if you reduce the how fast your mouse is moving because it moves really fast and I think you're misclicking a lot. Maybe it's because of nerves, yeah. but it's something to think about. You can reduce your DPI, but I'll let you handle mm -hmm. that. From what I can see, your economy, your micro is good with your army, but your economy is really, really um, lacking. And I can say it's bad because it's not necessarily bad. I, I can see you understand what you want to do with your economy, but you don't give it enough attention. You're always focusing on your army and not enough on your economy. So what I'd mm -hmm. recommend, a, a few tips, uh, and I can write them down on a notepad actually because the, the session's pretty much almost done because that game was really long, but I can write them down on the notepad yeah. here. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's a raffle, so there's no notepad. Never mind. Sorry. I'll just tell you them. Okay. So the, right. the, the main mistakes were pretty much not producing and your economy uh, getting neglected. So one thing I'd recommend mm -hmm. is that before you take a fight or before you focus on your army, queue up like a lot of vills, like spam queue up vills, spam, spam queue up military. So okay. every time before a fight happens, before a big fight, you want to queue everything. Why? So then you can focus on the fight. And then after the fight, you have a lot of army and villagers left over. If you don't do this during the fight, it's hard to queue stuff. You know what I mean? So you do yeah, it yeah. right before the fight starts. And then you come back after the fight and you have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of things already going. And then you can uh, adapt. Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, and another thing I, I, I noticed is that whenever you're looking for damage, you're always moving with one army, but I don't think you would have kept reinforcements had I not started telling you. So I want to re-emphasize this point. You send one army mm -hmm. forward and you defend with reinforcements. This way, when enemy has army, even if you're walled, if enemy has army, he can break. So he, he's going to attack and then we can defend with the reinforcements, okay? Okay. So always make sure to remember that. And then third thing, no quick walling like that. That's really bad. I think that it almost yeah. cost you the game, actually. It was really, really bad. Yeah, basically, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, those are, like, the main points, I would say. Um, I think you played really well overall, and I think you have a lot of potential. But I do think that your economy needs a lot of work. Um, I, I covered right. a lot of things in this, in this one game, but I think it's up to you to make sure that you implement these things or these tips in your own games. So I won't be there to help you with every game. So make sure that yeah, course, you, yeah. yeah make sure that you you remember to like get the two hundred pop, pick your army composition, etc. He's asking a question, even though I should be doing better, yeah. but Malay have no chance against the talents in late game. I mean that's kind of true, but yeah. he, he could he could win an early imp um, uh, with uh, like really strong R blast into you know skirm bomber cannon mix. He gets siege engineers, you don't, so he can definitely win with like that. But late imp, yeah, his stars is better. Uh, any last questions that you have? This was actually the full hour. There's like eight minutes left. So if you have a couple, couple, couple questions, we can take care of them. Uh, but there's no time uh, for another game. It could be this game. It could be any any question in general. I always feel like I'm losing the game because of the bad fights. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, you, you said like now uh, I'm not focusing enough on my economy. But I always feel like I'm losing the game because of bad fights. Like every second fight I take is bad, but it. For me, it seems a good fight, but in the end, it, it's, a, it's a really bad fight. Um, and I think that's what I am focusing more on the army. And, I, I think you're wrong, yeah. by the way. I think it's not that you're taking a bad fight. It's that you take a bad fight, and because you didn't produce anything before, then you die. If, if you take a bad fight, but you're still trading a little bit, he's going to have like three, four more units than you. But if you made units at home, you can defend yourself. But I think the problem is you take a bad fight and then you didn't produce at home. So then you, you can't defend yourself and then you start losing the game because of that. So it, it's okay oh. to take bad fights, but if you don't produce at home, that's when you get punished. If you always produce at home, always have reinforcements, defensive units, and you're always you know, keeping your production buildings going, then even if you take a bad fight, you can still recover. Yeah. 
I, I, I really yeah. think that you might be wrong on that one. And I, I'd recommend that you, you can take a look at some of your games on your own, see where, where you take a bad fight, and then see what you were doing at home. I'm almost 100% sure that it's not the bad fight, it's actually what you're doing at home that's, that's making it impossible to come back. Because obviously it's possible to take bad fights and it's going to set you behind, but you should never lose a game because of one bad fight. You lose because of several bad fights, or because of one bad fight that leads to like a snowball. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's a good question. Like, any tips for uh, like the control group things? Uh, I'm always misclicking them like every time. And uh, yeah. especially when I'm involving Siege too, mm -hmm. uh, like Bombard Cannons, I, I'm, I don't know. It's just hard, really hard H for Hard me. to control. What I use, I think it depends on personal preference, but what I use is I use two control groups for my army, one for my main unit, um, so like the unit that's going to be needing the most micro. So usually like Arbless or any backline is going to be control yeah. one. And then control two is usually the secondary army. So in, in early game, it'll be like scouts is control two. And control one is like archer skirms because I need to micro them a lot. And then late game, it's like control one is my Arbless and control two is like my bomber cannon because I need to control them a lot as well. So that's how I use it. And then I, with the Hussar or with any raiding unit in late game, I don't control group them unless I send them yeah, out yeah. to raid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you send them out to raid, you can control group them uh, temporarily. Uh, and then after they're, they're done raiding, you don't have to like look at them pretty much. Yeah. Uh, and one more question. Yeah. What do you think about my decision making? Like uh, when uh, you said like seed shop in the castle age, but I prefer knights. Uh, is this a bad thing? I mean, like a, a huge deal um... to... I don't think it's a huge deal. What I will say is that if no matter what you decide, the best thing you can do is commit to it. So if you decide knights, don't do like knights from one stable only, get no upgrades because then it's going to be useless. If you decide knights, get the upgrades, make a couple stables and you really go into knights basically. So what I will tell you is that sometimes two decisions can both work, but you have to choose one and really commit to it because if you don't commit to it, you're not going to be able to actually, um, you know, know if it's good or bad, basically. So you will learn right. what's best. Sometimes one is a bit better than the next. But right now, there's a few way different ways to play. Make sure that whatever you try to do, uh, you commit to it and see how that plays out. All right. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much. Hope you had a good time. Thank you. Thank you. Man. And hopefully it was a really fun experience. Awesome. <laughs> hopefully you learned something. And uh, yeah, man, yeah, guys, sure. check out Laz on Twitch. Thank you so much, guys. And or, thank you so much, man. And see you next time. Thank you, thank you, man. Bye. Peace. Peace.